don't you miss your life? How, how can I miss a life if I'm busy living it? You know what I'm saying? This is Macaulay Culkin. You know him because you grew up with him, watching him in films like Home Alone, My Girl, and Richie Rich. But as he's gotten older, he's done some increasingly interesting work in projects like Party Monster, Saved, and he's part of the newest season of American Horror Story Double Feature. But before Macaulay was outsmarting criminals, criminals got the best of him in his first major television role as a kidnapping victim in a 1988 episode of The Equalizer. He was clearly a natural at being just a really cute kid, playing Burt Lancaster's grandson in the drama Rocket Gibraltar, Jeff Bridges' son in the romantic comedy See You in the Morning, and John Candy's nephew in the John Hughes comedy Uncle Buck. He was also easy to work with, seeing as how he had a photographic memory that gave him an edge for memorizing dialogue. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a rent? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. After John Hughes worked with Macaulay on Uncle Buck, he suggested him for Chris Columbus, who was set to direct Hughes' latest screenplay, Home Alone. I made my family disappear. Macaulay got a Golden Globe nomination for playing Kevin, a kid accidentally left home alone who proceeds to outwit some dimwit burglars. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? After Home Alone, I mean, that was it. He was everywhere. Macaulay became the second youngest person to host Saturday Night Live. He starred in the iconic coming-of-age drama My Girl, and he was paid $4.5 million to do Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. But he also managed to stretch his talents into other genres, using his background as a ballet dancer in The Nutcracker, and he was terrifying as a psychopathic cousin opposite Elijah Wood in the thriller The Good Son. What do you think this is, Gabe? Then in the mid-90s, after films like The Pagemaster and Richie Rich, Macaulay took a break from acting, hoping to get some sense of normalcy after growing up in film and television. Nine years later, he re-emerged as a deceptively childish lawyer in an episode of Will and Grace. They keep on sending me all these papers and these folders, and I can't make any sense of any of it. Can you help me? I'm the opposing counsel. <laughs> and garnered acclaim for his performances as real-life sociopath party promoter Michael Allig in Party Monster. Oh, is that for me? How lovely. And Roland, a sardonic atheist attending a private Christian school in Saved. I don't want to be the guy who's with the girl because he needs her. I want to be the guy who's with the girl because he wants her. And I want you. He's also frequently collaborated with Seth Green, like when he played a carefree tour guide in Thailand in Changeland, which Seth wrote and directed. Yeah! Fight! Fight! Nowadays, Macaulay's just a fun-loving, eccentric guy who can pretty much choose what he wants to do, whether it's thumb wrestling with professional wrestlers, starting a band called The Pizza Underground, or poking fun at his Home Alone days in a Google Assistant commercial. Hey Google, remind me to clean these sheets later. Okay, I'll remind you. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin may be all grown up by now, but he's still got plenty more to show us.